Happy Halloween, everybody! Welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today I am here with <laughs> Little Miss Never Boring. You have to ignore the boxes in the background. That's boxes from Halloween decorations and things. Right, today we're going to be taking a quick look at Goosebumps Terror in the Graveyard. It's going to be me uh, playing as these two blue characters against Little Miss Never Boring. My daughter Bella playing with the two red characters and this spider is not part of the game. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> the aim of the game is um, we will be trapped in this spooky graveyard <laughs> with the killer tarantula. Ah, run away! Be careful because that's going to fire on the ghost. The ghost will come off. Yes, we are trapped in this spooky graveyard and... Um, on our turns, we're going to roll these two dice. Mm. One dice will tell us how far we can move along the spooky path, and the other dice has a symbol on it which matches a symbol on one of these three plastic tombs. There's a wolf over there. So, before you move, the aim is you actually move the tomb that matches the dice that you rolled. Um, this is the clever bit. When you move the tomb, look what happens to the floor. It's, it's magic! It's a magic floor. And that's it really. You, uh, we're going to be rolling the dice, we're going to be moving the tombs, we're going to be moving around the board. And when we get to the end, there is the headless ghost, who is more of a faceless ghost. And there's his head! Dun dun dun! Yeah. Whoever gets to the tomb at the end with a special magic card, you collect cards by landing on these G spaces here on the board. If you've got a magic ring, you can go and stand up there on the tomb. You can drop the skull down the chute. And if it falls on this lever, this ghost will boing up into the air because that's the kind of excitement you get at Halloween. And that's how it plays. So we're going to... um have a couple of turns off camera and sort of get started and then we'll come back and you can see how we're getting on and what's going on. By the way, all of the characters in this game are based uh, on characters from the Goosebumps books. I have Andrea and Evan from the book Monster Blood and who, who have you got Bella? You've got Jerry. Jerry and Terry. And what book are they from? What's it say on the bottom of the card? From the Ghost Beach. From Ghost Beach. So there we go. And we are going to start playing now. I hope this introduction hasn't made you too seasick. I've moved the camera quite a lot. I do apologise. Okay, so here we are a few turns in. Um, Bella is trailing ever so slightly. She's standing on a blank space at the moment. There's a skeletal hand waiting to grab at somebody. And I'm just here. And I'm about to roll the dice to have my turn. I have rolled... The funny ogre face, and okay. I've also rolled a two. So first of all, I have to find the tombstone with the ogre face, and here it is. Now, because it's in the middle, I can move it up or down. Um, both of us have got characters over that side of the board. And the way it works is this tombstone here controls this corridor. The tombstone there controls the middle corridor, and the tombstone there controls the, the final corridor there so it doesn't really matter which way I turn this one at this point so I'm just going to move it down there and then I get to move two spaces now I can move to any of the adjacent spaces that I want um, they're all divided up by these little lines here so I want to get that card so I'm going you have to move your full distance so I'm going to go one two and that allows me to draw a card from the spooky goosebumps deck. I'm going to reveal it. And it is. <gasps> That's a secret card. It says play later. So I'm not allowed to tell Bella what it is. I already know what it is. She already knows what it is. I heard you. <laughs> right. So I get to save that. I will show Bella what it is because, because we're only playing for fun. It's a magic ring. Now you need the magic ring to defeat the spooky ghost. So this magic ring will go with Andrea because it was Andrea who found it. So if Andrea 
can get over there, she has a chance to get rid of the ghost and win the game. But unfortunately, she's got a bit of a trek because she's got to go round this hedge. She's got to go all the way round. And she has to go through this very dangerous spot here because you can't go into the pit, but you might fall into it if it moves underneath you. Right, Bella, it's your go. You gonna roll the dice? You can roll them wherever you want. I'll try and get them on camera. What have we got? It's that ogre again. Again. So that's this chap here. Very good. And now you get to move three spaces. Where are you gonna go? Now you wanna go, where are you going? You wanna go, you wanna go this way. <gasps> You've landed on a goosebump spot, so you get to take one of these Look, cards. I, it was a three. Oh, yeah. I was there. One, two. One, two, three. You want the goosebumps cards. Are you gonna show everybody on camera what it says? What does it say? Let's zoom in on that. A magic potion sense the air. All pawns who are monsters are now cursed. No, does they curse? Cured. 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 It says cured. So if anybody was a monster, they would be cured. But neither of us are monsters at the moment. Nope. So we just discard that card. So we basically put it at the bottom of the pile. Well, we're going to put it on a little pile at the side. There we go. We need it. it said, a magic potion scents the air. All pawns who are monsters are now cured. And that's the same picture as some of the spaces on the board. Like there. That's right. Because if you land on one of those and you're a monster, you get cured. Because you cannot win the game if you are a monster. So, it's my go. I'm going to roll the dice. We're going to see what's happened next. It's... The mummy. Mummy. mummy! Tell him about the honey, mummy. Who <laughs> 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 likes that? Honey monster. I'm going to move five spaces. Uh oh. So, how am I going to do this? One, two, three, four, five. Now, here, I am on a danger spot. If anybody rolls this ogre face while I'm on the danger spot, I could fall down the pit and that would be the end of me. So it's Bella's turn to roll the dice okay. and let's hope she doesn't roll the ogre face or whatever it is. Mother monster, the demon, the imp, the creepy the critter. Elf, the werewolf mummy. <laughs> And she's rolled the, the wolf. wolf, so I am lucky this turn. <laughs> Did it reveal anything underneath your space? No, it didn't, so you're okay. But now you get to move three spaces. Uh. Oh, you can come over here and get another card. And show it to the camera. What does it say? Come on, the headless ghost is restless. Move all tombs towards him as fast as you can. Right, ah, so all of these tombs, all three, have to move towards the headless ghost because he's restless. That's actually worked in my favour because I am less likely to get dropped down the pit now. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to switch the camera off for a little bit. We're going to play a few more rounds and then I'll, I'll cut back in if we get to something good happening. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, we've cut back in here because I have just rolled that monster head and a four. So first of all, I'm going to move this tombstone to here, but also I'm going to move four spaces. One, two, three, four. Now I am up here. Now, as we know, I already picked up earlier in the game a magic ring and unfortunately Bella didn't manage to land on a card space that would allow her to steal that ring from me. So now we're going to drop the skull down the chimney and see if I can defeat the ghost. Bella's going to drop the skull for me because I'm going to record it. So just straight down the top. Oh, it went down the other side so I don't win this turn. But next turn I can try again. So Bella's going to roll her dice. So it's the wolf. 
Oh! And you've rolled a three. Now you want to try and land. One, two, three. You do. Can you land on a. One, two, three. Yeah, you can. You can do that and you can draw a card. You stumble and find a secret tunnel to, a, to the creepy statue. Stay where you are or move to the creepy statue. To the creepy statue. What's it over there? There you go, the creepy statue. So you can move there if you want. All right, and then that card gets discarded over here to the discard pile. Sorry to anybody who is getting motion sickness from me waving the camera around. I'm trying to move. I'm trying to move it very slowly, and I'm trying to not not do a whole horrible Blair Witch Project thing. It's my turn. I get to move my monster. I'm going to move this monster, and then, and then, if I can get the skull out of here. I can't get I can't get the skull out. Can you I get, think. Can you get the skull out with your little fingers? Oh, you've knocked over me, little lady. Mm -hmm. right, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna get this back in shot. All right, drop it down. Oh, again. for goodness sake! Again, again, again. That's another turn. Right, so Bang. another fail for two turns in a row. So now it's Bella's go. Three ogre. Right, so we remove the. Every time, every time we roll that symbol, we change what we call it. Sometimes it's an ogre, sometimes it's a monster, sometimes it's an imp, sometimes it's a demon. Answers on the postcard, everybody. Put your put your suggestions in the comments at the bottom. What do you think One, it is? Two, three. Bella is now standing on the danger zone. If I get to roll the ogre on my turn, I can actually knock her in the pit. So let's see what happens. Oh, I rolled the mummy, so Bella is lucky this turn and she will not be falling down in the pit. And now she's going to try and scooch that skull out of that space for me, so she can drop it down the chimney again. Hold on, hold on, let me get back in shot. Come on, third time's a charm. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I think, because I'm doing it, I think I'm going to win this, because it's people doing that, that's me, going to that, that's me. Yeah. I don't know. I think you're. I think you're rolling it funny. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. gonna I'm gonna cut here, and we'll cut back in um, next time and see if we can get it next time. Here we are again. Bella played a card that pushed me back out of the tomb, but I've managed to roll enough to get back in and give it another go. And um, here we go. Okay. One skull. And whoa! That got rid of that. That is a win for me! Yay! Go me! Go, Daddy! Yay! <laughs> what are you doing? Get your feet off my kitchen table! <laughs> That's it! Oh my goodness! Yeah, there we go! That is... And that is how you play! That is how you... Hold on, I'm going to cut for a second. I'm going to cut. Okay, and now we've got that under control. That is that. That is how you play uh, the Goosebumps Terror in the Graveyard game. Remember, folks, reading is a scream. And remember, watch out for giant tarantulas <laughs> this Halloween. You never know when they will strike. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, Bella, drop it down, see what happens. Hey, congratulations! Uh, <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this, is a, this is an addendum to um, the playthrough we just did. We decided to play through again quickly in the second time, um, and this time Bella very quickly got to the tomb with a magic ring and won the game. Um, so that's it. That's the end of this this video. Um, by the time this video goes up, I will have posted a written review of this game on alwaysboredneverboring.com. Please do go over and check that out. Um, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.